Good morning, good morning, happy new year. Greetings from Abaco on the first day of the year. Here at the ferry dock in Marshall, where we had a beautiful, beautiful sunrise at the first of the year. And this is what we got here. The water is clear. Uh, GNL got three ferry. GNL Transport got three ferry. Albury's Ferry Dock is not up and running, but they also have a ferry right over there. And it's a gorgeous day for the first of the year. Don't see a lot of fish. I see a couple of snappers down there. A lot of debris. The birds are out. The winter birds got lost. They're still in Abaco. They should be um, gone north. Even the pigeon is here. And they should be gone. I said, look over there. You can see debris in the water everywhere. So as a boatman, you have to be careful. It's a game changer when you don't know what's in the water. It's like hitting into rock. There's a lot of snappers down there. I don't know where they're coming from, but they're there. As we look at the sunrise over Hopetown, Lubbus, Tulu, Sugarloaf, uh, the sun was radiant. I missed that early picture. It was rojo, red. And my New Year wish after Hurricane September first is to get back to some type of normalcy and for us Kai Mills and Abaco the storm still continue and it's even brutal when you have a government that this month make five months in cannot pick up the trash from on the streets of Marshaba, Pelican Shores, etc. But they could spend seven million dollars to clean up the peas, the mud, sandbikes, the farm. It's clean. Like they are the city center. They are the part of the town that bring in the commerce. You gotta be an idiot and an idiot government, and those idiot FNMs that believe in everything the government do is okay. Y'all are just as dumb. This is a new year. We ain't got time to play. We are still in the storm in Abaco. You got to be an idiot and an ass of a government to feel that the first thing you should do is to eradicate the Haitian community and to spend a tune of $7 million dollars. Then you throw us another screwball. This is the first of the year. We're just getting started here. Then you're going to throw us those garbage in Spring City at a tune of the seven and a half million. So all to get in essence, we got 15 million that we know about. We're not talking about the fencing that you give an Abaconium for $350,000. And you turn it around and give it to Bahamas Striping for $1.5 million. This can't be right. Where are we going? My New Year wish is that we have a government that truly believe in the people. Uh, but you cannot. And you should not. You ought not try to make a first impression the second time. The first impression of what you all did is a disaster What's the disaster and continue to be a disaster because you never put Bahamian people first. Thank God for the American volunteers. And I'm going to say that proudly. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have been to some sense of normalcy. I want to thank God for the first set of people on the ground, the Jamaican Defense Force. Yes, I did say it. The Jamaican Defense Force, they were so brilliant that these guys were in heavy equipment. 
they come in there, uh, Bill Simmons heavy equipment, and these guys could drive everything. You imagine the Jamaican Defense Force on the streets of Marsh Harbor with payloader, trucks, uh, manpower, and cleaning up the debris at the Marsh Harbor Airport. They clear the road in Marsh Harbor. To date, they put ice water shield at the primary school, 200 sheets of it. 200 sheets of plywood. And it's still there whopping and rotting since September. This is Jamaicans. What have our defense force, you know what our defense force doing? Stealing generators, sexy assaulting people, taking away from their freedom of movement, their liberty. I see them down at the airport, uh, but 30 of them bareback playing basketball. When you don't see them there, you see them in the liquor store and the bars at night with guns strapped to their ties, their waist, and getting all liquored up. Our defense force is a national disgrace. And I thought that my friend Marvin Dames would be watching. Simmons as Commodore Defense Force is a disgrace. The Abaconian and the Defense Force. But yet, our Prime Minister sit down on December 25th and feed this fella that's been doing so much wrong. And he said it's okay. December 25th, while he invite not one Abaconian who has been affected by Hurricane Dorian. Still here, still not doing anything, but this is what we get from a caring FNM government. Everybody saw the video that I shot at the Friendship Tabernacle when the Defense Force officer was trying to prevent me from just filming the generators that they were giving out. They were under three Defense Force supervision with gun. They got in the generators. That this board, this new board that the uh, government has approved to see over the affairs. So they brought in a hundred or so generators. So I wonder why this fool trying to discamera me and stop me from filming our generators, our generators. I'm one of those people being affected. I didn't know till days later what the problem was. The problem was that the generator was under the fence force control, but four of them went missing. And this is what they did. They took the four generators out of the box, but they leave the box there. I said, that kind of was stupid to bring empty box at the church to try to give out. But what the fellas who stole the generators, they know that the boss was counting the generators. So they had to count the box. They wouldn't have known they're missing until they went at the church. But at the compound where the defense force are mining these generators, some of the defense force took four out of the box and leave the empty box. Lo and behold, when we get to the church, this same officer, they need to investigate him because he knew about it. That is why he didn't want me to camera up and take pictures of the generator. He is one that you need to investigate. How did four of the generators, the new generators that Jess was given out last week, and then they want to put the blame on the man who they say giving it away when he didn't have no gun, it was not brought to the church until it came from the Defense Force base to the church by arm guard of our defense force who is the most brutal crooks since the hurricane. These guys have done so much crime since the hurricane and neither one of them has been disciplined. Neither one of them has been put before the courts. Neither one of them has been sent home and they've been stealing, robbing and disrespecting Abaco from day one. The minister went over and repeatedly to try to calm the ease of the Abaco residents that these guys are there to work for us and to supply some sense of security. But this group, the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, as a bunch of criminals under the leadership 
of Commodore uh, uh, Simmons. He's the leader. And we saw what he did with me on the streets of Abaco. And he approved of that. That's a lit video for another time. But under his watch, just last week, four generators went missing. Who is going to be disciplined for that? And these are the generators that were there for people like myself that went through a storm. The storm continues because of the leadership and the lack thereof. Like a professional soldier, like Simmons, that is still here in Abaco and ought to be gone long time, just like the storm. So my message to the Prime Minister and Darren Hanfield, that is feeding these crooked soldiers, the Prime Minister ought to know that anybody should have been doing that should have been the Governor General. He's head of state. Why is the Prime Minister acting like a president feeding his soldier in a time of war? The war that you're feeding them for and fattening them up for them to be more brutal against Abaconia. That is a black eye, Mr. Prime Minister. You shouldn't be feeding them water. They don't deserve water. And then you're so naive. These people that you just fed were not the ones that there during the hurricane. These are new fellas. The ones that were there during the hurricane, they already got their goods, they generated, and they'll move on. Every other week, they bring in new ones there. Only place that we can't get out here is Commodore Simmons. Feed him, and you should have taken him on the plane with you. That would have been such a great move for Abaco. My New Year present, my New Year uh, gift, is that we have a government that is for the people, by the people, and doing in the best interest of the people.